Hey warriors, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Look what we found. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My turn. This is a MCM dresser. Um, it's made by um, the Dixie Company. Um, but they were uh, around for quite some time. They're not around any longer, but this is one of their mid-century modern pieces. And it's got uh, walnut on the top and the sides, uh, veneer, and then this is like a tiger wood, I believe. We'll have to see, we're gonna be doing some sanding. Yeah. So we've got something we're gonna try with this one. Um, we don't want it to end up being too dark, so we're gonna try some things to see if we can keep it lighter and show this grain off. Yeah. So come on along on the journey with us. Let's see what we can do with this piece. Okay, so as always, we're gonna start by cleaning the piece. We're going to start removing the finish. We're going to start with a 120 uh, sandpaper and see how this comes off and then go from there and determine if that's what we want to continue doing or if we want to try another method, we'll see. Okay guys, so the 120 is working well, so we're just going to continue with it. We got a new Walt from yeah, our baby. Amazon wish list. Um, unfortunately, it came just like this without an outer box. It was, maybe you can hear me better like this. It was just like this um, on our doorstep. So we don't know who sent it, and we tried to look it up, and apparently you can't. So. If you sent this to us and you want us to know who you are, send us a message or an email or comment on the video and let us know it was you. Otherwise, you know who you are and we certainly thank you for that. So now that we have our cheapo sander and our good DeWalt, uh, we'll be able to do twice the sanding. Well, one and three quarter because this doesn't go quite as fast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but Cindy likes the DeWalt, so I'm going to let her use that one and I'll use the old one and uh, we can keep sanding and get things done quicker. So again, to whoever you are, we, we appreciate you. it and thank you so much. It's gonna so much. make our life a lot easier. Thank yeah. you. Some of the handles on the drawers were crooked. We noticed when we first got the unit, so we're using our jig. By the way, this was a gift from Kim from our Amazon list. 
Certainly appreciate that, Kim. It's gonna make life a lot easier. So I'm just checking to make sure all these holes are even and set up right. And then the ones that are crooked, we're filling so that we can actually redrill them in the proper spot. Okay, the rest of this seems to be okay. I didn't start filming early enough for you guys, <laughs> but we filled four of the holes where they were off. Let me show you that. On this drawer right here, we filled the two holes. That one. And then on this drawer right here, we filled the two holes here and here because those holes were actually off. So that should straighten us up as far as putting the hardware back on. So once that hardens, we'll redrill it before we go ahead and start doing our top coating and staining and stuff. Because of the way this thing is done, and what we think this is gonna turn out like, we put some mineral spirits on here. We like the way it looks, so we think we're just gonna top coat a lot of this and the drawers. But this is like a two by four, and you saw us hand sand the trim here, and this is gonna come out different colors if we just top coat. So, we're gonna trim this out with some black stain and the feet. We think that'll look good, <laughs> but we'll find out. So how do we make this hardware right here look like this hardware? Haha. -ha. <laughs> I'm gonna show ya. This is Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. It's a 26 ounce bottle. It was like 336, something like that over at Home Depot. I picked it up. I put a little bit in a butter dish and I'm going to take this I'm just going to set it in there. Make sure you're wearing gloves or a glove on your hands that's going to hold the hardware. 
only because when your brass is this tarnished, it is going to turn your hands all kinds of interesting colors. Okay. So then you take a soft cloth. Can you see it already changing? This is the easiest way I have found to clean brass hardware. And if you have some that, you know, like, looks like, oh, that's not going to come off, like that little spot right there. Just work it a little more. It'll come off. And then some of these hard to reach places. Yes, I like to clean the back of my hardware because well, that's other people's yuck. So let's get rid of that for our new person who's going to own this. They can put their own yuck on there. Okay, and then I'm just going to rinse it with some nice warm water. And I'm going to see where I need to work some more. Because this was really grimy and dirty. dry it off so you can basically see it still needs a little work in a couple spots so I'll continue to work on those but that's pretty good huh because that's what we started with so we filled these two holes and the two holes in one more drawer because they were crooked. So we filled them and now we're just going to redrill them. Do you want me to hold this one? No, got it. So you can see how we were just, you can see how far off it was here. Yeah. But this is going to be covered by the hardware, so we're not really worried about it. We just wanted to get the holes straight. So you see how those two were a little off. Pre-catalyzed satin from Mohawk. And we're just gonna go straight over it. You'll see the color change when we do this and why we're not staining them. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs>
Okay, so we're coming down to the final reveal and just wanted to give you an update. In our last video, we talked about a furniture refinishing kit that we wanted to get a hold of that would help us out immensely. And we are putting 10% of our furniture sales into that account. And we had mentioned that if you guys wanted to get involved in helping us do that, that we would put everything that came in from Buy Me A Coffee, we would put that into that fund. And last week we started with the $100 that we put in there. And as of this week, thanks to all the people you're seeing scroll across the screen, we now have a total of $220. So we are getting there pretty quickly, gang. And we appreciate every one of you that gave to that fund so that we can get that kit. We truly are humbled at your generosity and helping us out with that. So if you'd like to get involved, there's a link to buy me a coffee in the description and you can help us out with that. We greatly appreciate it. So let's finish up the hardware and then we'll show you some before pictures of what we started with and we'll show you the final reveal. As always, have a flippin' awesome day.